The Cook family has run its business for more than 30 years and never had a problem with slugs in the kitchen until a council worker reported they found one. But the cooks say they have proof it's a setup. What did they do? They kneecapped us. Is this Australia? I mean, this is the right to. I, I, it, this seriously leaves me completely cold. I just don't trust the system anymore, and I don't trust the things I used to trust. Ben and Ian Cook say they've been framed by a dirty council. There's something really smelly here. This whole thing is a stitch up. They're calling it a scandal of epic proportions, Sluggate. Tonight, the video evidence and the eyewitness accounts. It almost looks like it had wings and landed there. Ian and his son Ben have run iCook Foods for decades. Uh, the business started, uh, well, over 30 years ago. My wife and I started. 15% of our workforce was actually disabled. We were about giving opportunities. They loved what they did, supplying healthy food to nursing homes and hospitals in Victoria. Food manufacturing is not a really high margin area, but we had enough to keep going that employed the family, uh, 41 other people. But in February this year, their world was destroyed. The Department of Health blamed iCook Foods for a listeria case in a private hospital, shutting the company down. The family say they lost all their contracts and $500,000 worth of food. Later, they were given the all clear by health authorities to reopen. We had swabs done on our facility, including slices, bench tops, sinks, and even drains and none of them had listeria. While all this was going on, City of Greater Dandenong Council sent in one of its health inspectors, and this is where things get slimy. You see the inspector walk towards the corner of the company's industrial kitchen. She squats down for 17 seconds off camera, while Michael, iCook's food safety supervisor, watches on. Did you wonder what is she doing down there? Yeah, I found it strange that she was there for so long. I'm hyper vigilant and I could tell you literally every mark on this floor. Was there a slug there? No, there definitely wasn't. Would you swear on yeah. your life? Yes, I would. Council later hit the company with 96 charges. Their key piece of evidence, this slug. You look at it and go, come hell or high water, I'm gonna tackle every angle of this, from body camera footage, to reading through their statements that they made in court, to going through it all to defend myself, my actions of all of my staff, because I know we did the right thing. Then council sensationally backed down and withdrew every charge against iCook Foods, claiming it was in the interest of their ratepayers. If you're set to gain $11.5 million in fines, $500,000 investment doesn't seem so bad, yet they dropped all charges against my father. So why would council want to kill off iCook Foods? Well, it just happens to partly own a rival business, Community Chef. They were absolutely losing money hand over fist. We were supporting real families with real jobs, with a real business that supported itself and wasn't a burden on the taxpayer. And the only way for them to end up as the last man standing was for this to happen. Ben and Ian Cook have become sleuths. They've got a team of former fraud squad detectives assisting them with their claim that evidence was cooked up in order to shut them down. Now the evidence has been presented to Victoria Police. Ian calls this the smoking gun, photo evidence council gave him. This is the picture Michael took minutes later of the same slug. Spot the difference? Ian and Ben allege this piece of tissue has been photoshopped out. iCook Foods administrator Leisha Hodges greeted the council's health inspector the day of the discovery and claims she saw something odd. She's playing in her two little pockets on her top. And I thought, oh, that's a bit strange. And she had tissues in them. And I thought, well, why would a health inspector be walking around with tissues in their pocket? She came in alone. She'd never been to our factory. And she doesn't wear her body camera and miraculously finds a slug. She's in four other days. Every other day, she wore her body camera. You did an inspection just two days before council arrived. Is that right? That's correct. Yep. And what did you find? Basically, we found nothing internally. In the amount of years I've been coming here, which is 
well over 15 years, we've never seen anything internally. Pest Inspector Alex Jurger says the slug has him stumped. It was a fairly warm, hot day, so they're nocturnal primarily. They won't come out during the day uh, unless it's sort of uh, a bit damp or, or wet. And what about the chemicals they use on the floor? Would a slug be able to withstand those? Not, not with the chlorine and, and sort of alkaline chemical they use there with a the sanitizer. As soon as it came in, made contact with that, it would virtually die on the spot. And where is the slug's telltale trail? There's no sign of it sliding in. The plot thickens. A separate Dandenong council worker claims she was pressured to fabricate evidence against iCook Foods. They are just bullies. I am absolutely disgusted about the behaviour. They went after iCook with such determination to shut them down. Victorian MP Fiona Patton has raised the slug mystery during question time question in Parliament. What steps have you taken to address this scandal at the city of Greater Dandenong? She wants a full investigation of these allegations. Thank you. Thank you. We need to know how this happened, who knew about this, and what we can do to stop it. My mum and dad started this business. His name is Ian Cook. The food company that we have is I Cook Foods. It's his name. How do you think he's taken this? How do you think our family has taken this? The Cook family has this message for council. I Cook Foods is coming for every person who has gone against us to try and kneecap us. We asked for a statement from the Greater Dandenong City Council and we were surprised to also get a letter from the law firm it's hired. At what cost to the ratepayer, we wonder? Council refutes any claims by iCook Foods that it planted the slug in the kitchen and stands by its decision to bring charges against them. Council also claims the Victorian Ombudsman is satisfied with the procedures and processes it followed.